Welcome back to Next Gen World, where today we dive into a powerful and lesser known aircraft that symbolizes resilience, engineering brilliance, and the determination of a national Taiwan's FCK-1 Chengkuo indigenous defense fighter. Developed in the face of diplomatic isolation and growing regional threats, the FCK-1 Chengkuo is more than just a fighter jada it's a symbol of Taiwan's strategic independence and innovation in the defense sector. Let's rewind a bit. The 1980s were a time of major tension in the Taiwan Strait. Taiwan, officially known as the Republic of China, realized it couldn't depend forever on foreign powers for defense, especially as the United States was increasingly cautious in supplying advanced fighter jets due to its growing relations with the People's Republic of China. Requests for F-20 Tiger Sharks and F-16S were denied or delayed. That was the turning point. With no guarantees of external help, Taiwan turned inward and decided to build its own fighter. In 1982, the project was greenlit. The goal? Create a multi-role combat aircraft that could defend Taiwan's airspace and hold its own against any potential threat. Named after the legendary Ming Dynasty General Chen Kuo, the aircraft's development was led by the Aerospace Industrial Development Corporation AID. With some assistance from American defense companies like General Dynamics, who provided consulting support, Taiwan pushed forward with bold ambition. By 1989, the prototype of the FCK-1 took to the skies. And in 1994, it officially entered service with the Republic of China Air Force. Let's talk specs. The FCK-1 Chengku is a twin-engine, single-seat, supersonic multi-role fighter. It's powered by two Honeywell F-125 G8 100 turbofan engines, each producing over 9,000 pounds of thrust with afterburners. That gives it a top speed of Mach 1.8 and a combat range of around 1,100 kilometers. It's not just fast, but agile. Thanks to its tailless delta wing with canards, the FCK-1 boasts excellent maneuverability a crucial for dogfighting and evasive maneuvers in Taiwan's complex airspace, surrounded by both sea and mountainous terrain. Now, when it comes to weapons, the Chengkuo doesn't disappoint. It's armed with the 20mm M61 Vulcan cannon and has seven hard points for carrying a mix of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground ordnance. This includes the Tian Chen Ion-2 missiles, Taiwan's own infrared and radar-guided missiles, designed specifically for this fighter. It can also carry bombs and rocket pods, making it versatile for both interception and strike missions. But one of the most interesting aspects of this aircraft is its avionics. The Chengkuo features a digital fly-by-wire system, advanced radar, heads-up display, and multi-function displays in the cockpit. These are features that, back in the early 90s, were only seen in top-of-the-line Western fighters. Over time, Taiwan didn't stop at just deploying the Chengkuo. Realizing that threats were evolving, the aircraft underwent major upgrades under a modernization program known as the IDFC, D or Jiangsheng variant. These enhanced versions come with better radar systems, upgraded avionics, longer range missiles, improved engines, and even stealth features like radar absorbent materials and reduced infrared signatures. Production wise, around 130 aircraft were built including both single-seat and two-seat trainers. The fleet continues to serve today, mainly in defensive and training roles, as Taiwan expands its arsenal with newer platforms like the F-16 Volts. But here's the thing uh, beyond all the numbers, technology, and specs, the FCK-1 Chengkuo represents a bold political and technological statement. In a world where Taiwan faces constant pressure from a far larger neighbor, building its own fighter was a declaration of sovereignty, capability, and confidence. 
And while the Chengkuo may not match the raw power of fifth-generation stealth fighters like the F-35 or J-20, it was never meant to. It's a tool of deterrence, crafted specifically for Taiwan's geography, threats, and resources. It showed the world that the small island nation, under embargoes and restrictions, could still build a capable, modern fighter from scratch and keep upgrading it over the decades. So, what does the future hold for the FCK-1 Chang Kuo? As Taiwan's Air Force modernizes, the jet might eventually retire from frontline service. But its legacy will live in law not just in museums or history books, but in the engineering culture and defense strategies Taiwan continues to develop. From a purely military point of view, the FCK-1 was a practical solution to a pressing problem. From a geopolitical perspective, it was a bold act of defiance and self-reliance. And from a technological standpoint, it proved Taiwan's capability to develop world-class aerospace products even when the odds were stacked high. If you found this story fascinating, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Next Gen World for more deep dives into the world's most underrated and remarkable tech and defense marvels. Until next time, stay curious and stay tuned.